Hey, what's up, guys? So the AOKP team just um, released um, Jelly Bean <coughs> three for um, for Android devices. So let's go check out what's cooking. Let's go right over to AOKP dot co. Should forward us to the news page. <coughs> so as we see here, um, just like two or three days ago, we've had Jelly Bean Build three release. Uh, so this is a major release uh, to which they've mostly added support for other devices, Toro Plus, Crespo, um, Galaxy S2s and S3s. So a couple of new, new features here, SMS quick reply, you get more complicated calculator functions, uh, language switchers on the keyboard, um, toggle vibrate and ring on the navigation ring on the lock screen and also stopwatch and countdown on the clock app <clears throat> which was borrowed from cyanogen mod so yeah let's go ahead and flash this baby so first thing I want to do is um, head over to the downloads page and I've downloaded um, the ROM for my device, which is the Galaxy Nexus GSM Maguro, and you can see it here on the desktop. So go ahead and look at look for the ROM for your device and download it. And if you do not already have it, you want to um, have G apps as well. So <clears throat> um, just let that download. In the meantime, I'm going to transfer over the ROM to using using whatever uh, method suits you best. In my case, I'm just going to go with Android file transfer. So I'll have Android file transfer uh, coming up here. So I should mention that <clears throat> I am plugged into um, my computer via USB, as you can see here. Oh, yeah. You obviously won't be able to access data on there. So I'm just going to put it in um, in a folder of your choice. In my case, I'm just going to put it in ROM right here. So as you can see, I already have uh, GApps in there. So I guess I don't have to download this. I'll just cancel that. It's, it's no change from July 2012. So we'll just let that <clears throat> copy over. And while we're waiting, I should mention that um, if you have not already done it, you probably want to back up using Titanium Backup <clears throat> your um, apps and settings. So you can quickly restore them once you have the new ROM flashed. And if you need a routing guide, you can check out my playlist. I'll put it in the description below. Um, where I show you how you can root pretty much any um, Android device um, in a couple of simple steps on the Mac. All right, so there we have it. I have JB Build 3 on there right now. And let's just go in here, Solid Explorer, just to confirm that. Yep, indeed, I have that. And I have uh, 135 megs. Uh, typically what you should do is you should really to be a bit more rigorous you should do an md5 check on the checksum um, but I'm you know I'm just taking it for granted here and just skipping it um, just check out one of my other videos on how you can do an md5 checksum just to make sure that the file's not corrupted um, that you've copied over all right so let's head on out into recovery so go to reboot and recovery if you don't have this feature uh, which I do because I'm on Cyanogen mod ROM. Um, all you gotta do is turn your phone off and then hit the power and the volume up and down buttons at the same time, which is right in the middle of the volume up and down. And hold hold it down for about 10 seconds, and that should take you into recovery. But I'm just gonna put into recovery like this from here.
right so um, I'm in clockwork mode recovery now and you go to first thing you want to do is wipe data so they'll wipe all data hence backing up using titanium backup so forming data forming cache right data wipe done next um, wipe cache so typically you're going to want to do this wipe data wipe cache and wipe dalvik cache so next up go to advance wipe dalvik cache confirm yes um, typically you want to do this if you're flashing to a brand new ROM or a completely different build but if you are flashing between nightlies it should be fine to not wipe it that will save you a bit of trouble okay so now I'm clean um, nothing on there so go right to install zip and look for the zip on your card so I'm gonna choose zip from SD card um, and look at the ROM that I placed in the ROM folder right there and you can see here third line down AOKP Maguro JB Build 3 Maguro being codenamed for Galaxy Nexus JSM so hit that and confirm install Maguro Jellybean Build 3 now the previous AOKP ROM that I installed AOKP 1 was not very stable it crashed a lot and um, battery life wasn't awesome and I also had problems with performance on it so we will see um, how this fares hopefully a bit better Cyanogen Mod 10 was awesome by the way it was, it was amazing right so done um, don't flash JAPS yet start it up first or you might get in trouble so go out to reboot system and just let it boot up pink unicorn coming up soon hopefully right there we go Uh, do its thing. They seem to change these um, pink unicorns. They've evolved from cute tiny little ponies to what looks like a really fierce warrior. You see right here. Trebuchet is pretty cool, so I'm just gonna always use Trebuchet. And right, so we're in, and okay, so let's take a look. Settings about phone. And you should see that we are on AOKP Maguro build 3 right here. You can see that there. And yep, so we're good. So having done that, um, let's shut it down. And boot into recovery again so that we can flash GApps. And that should, you know, after that, that should conclude the flashing process then of course you want to restore apps um, used from titanium backup so power button and volume up and down at the same time for about 10 seconds should take us into um, recovery okay feel the bump then navigate using volume up down buttons to recovery mode 
and hit power button to accept okay um, so install zip again choose zip and navigate to the folder where you had put gaps in it um, so I have GApps here from July 2012. They've not changed anything since then. So that, that, that is the latest GApps. In any case, it will update itself to the latest versions of uh, GApps. Just done copying files. So once I once I check it out, I will put up a quick first look review at the ROM. Um, so make sure you check out the video later on. All right, so we're done. Um, back out, reboot the system. You should see the pink unicorn one more time. Startup will be somewhat quicker this time around, hopefully. All right, there we go. So, Okay, so we're done rooted. Let's look for super user, right? Super SU right there. If you don't like super SU, you can always flash super user, which is supposed to be somewhat more robust. Um, but I'm not going to do that now. So, yep, so that's it. Um, we are on AOKP Jelly Bean Build 3, which was released just a couple of days ago, September 24th, 2012. And um, I will be back. Make sure you check out a video on a review of this ROM. Um, so peace out and subscribe and like. It's really going to help us. So catch you later.